Day 18 is done and I'm uh, bloody outside, guys. Look at me outside. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm back in Hobart. Had to get up at 4 a.m. this morning to get the flight back. And I thought, well, you know, let's attack today. Let's not have it as a right off, let's have it as a right on. So I am on a hike um, in Mount Wellington, which uh, on the bus on the journey, on the bus on the journey, on the bus journey here, I tried, it was just me and the bus driver, so I tried to crack a gag, one that I thought would be uh, endearing and charming maybe, as a British man that when I, well you say Mount Wellington, I hear Mount Wellington boot. Um, so I thought of it as Mount Boot, but he didn't find it fun or charming. It's not even true. Um, when I hear Wellington, I think maybe New Zealand, Wellington, or Beef Wellington. Well, I suppose that's quite British as well. Anyway, yeah, I'm walking around Mount Wellington, but uh, it's not, you know, I should be telling you that tomorrow or tonight, because day 18 was yesterday, uh, Melbourne Day. And it was, it was pretty jam-packed. Uh, sadly, Elle was not well, so we saw very little of Elle. So she has to get better soon, Elle. Um, so we went to into town. We saw a protest about Palestine. We went to a Buddhist festival. Oh, there's people up ahead, isn't it weird? Uh, a Buddhist festival, what's it? Buddhist festival. Uh, we went to a petting zoo. They had pigs and sheep and chickens and goats. Um, that was awesome. And then we went to a dumpling place. It's just me and Laura. Went to a dumpling place. Then we went out to this outside bar for a bit of a street party. <laughs> uh, part of the Brooklyn Lager Beer Festival. Then we met up with our friend Patrick. We went to a rooftop bar. Lucy came to meet us. Then we went to a unbelievable Moroccan restaurant. I went to Morocco in September. The food, bang average, turns out. Really not good food. Ate a lot of tagine. Um, but this place, wow. Vegetarian place. Um, crazy woman that ran it, had hair like Slicery Bob. Sli is it Slideshow or Sideshow? I don't know. But he has crazy hair and so did she. Uh, we, didn't, we did nothing Royal Wedding-y. Yesterday was Royal Wedding Day, we did nothing. Um, which is okay, I, I care, you know, but it's, it's okay that I didn't do anything. <sighs> um, yeah, so had that, then went back, oh God, then we went back to Patrick's house. Patrick, I've lived in some strange places. Patrick, he lives in a doctor's surgery. So his living room kitchen is the reception waiting room. His bedroom is the staff room, it says staff room on the door. The other doors, room one, room two, treatment room. That is a weird house. On the main road, you go through like a shop door to go in. Whoa, but he was a cool guy. He's a lovely man. So we had a good time. Um, and then, yeah, went back home and had to get up stupid o'clock today. Really ridiculous o'clock um, to come home though. You know, I think if you can go up at four, you should be getting on a flight. Well, I did, it wasn't delayed this time and it took me here to, um, you know, Hobart, home tonight, Sheila. So yeah, day 18, great day. Really, um, it feels good to be outside as well. I think maybe they've, yeah, they've gone. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now I'm walking to uh, the springs and then onto somewhere called the Disappearing Tarn, which sounds mystical and Lord of the Rings-like. Uh, I'm not a huge Lord of the Rings fan, but I like the idea of a Disappearing Tarn. It's a bit of a local secret, I'm told, by a Scottish woman who works in a hostel. Um, and also, as of this week, because of the crazy amount of rainfall we have here. Oh God, a crossroad. This is, it's a crossroad. There's three ways to go. Oh my god. Just, oh sh... I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, so the Dispering Town, as of all the rainfall, look, we'll go straight. As of all the rainfall this week, they've now had, um, it's refilled. It's a lake that, that sometimes disappears, sometimes refills. Anyway, it's made the BBC News, and it's now on Google Maps. Um, so it's, it's not such a local secret anymore. So I'm going to contribute to the death of the local heritage secret as a dirty southern England, North Hemisphere tourist. Guys, this has been a good one actually. Yeah, I enjoyed myself this one. So you guys, you know, enjoy your weekends. I hope the Royal Weddings celebrations were cool. And uh, I will speak to you probably later today when I'll pretend that this was not today, day 18 yesterday, and today day 19. That makes very little sense to you, but it does to me. So I'll see you all later on.